Europeana provides professionals, teachers, and researchers with access to Europe's digital cultural heritage. Europeana resources offer inspiration, inform fresh perspectives, and open conversations about history and culture to share and enjoy our rich cultural heritage. Yes, uh, I used to do that for uh, the beginning of my career. I uh, taught in uh, a city that uh, is uh, full of monuments. I, I used to taught in Sibiu, in uh, Transylvania, in Romania. And for example, when I taught Romanic and Gothic uh, architecture, I used to go with uh, kids to see how a Gothic monument looks like and I explain all the elements of the Gothic architecture there inside. Actually, I have. Although the, the, the school where I teach is in a, in a small town, uh, we take them outdoors and uh, we, we just see the monuments of the, of the area and discuss them. Or we just write an essay afterwards and things like that. Yes, I have. It's, it's the best activity for them because they think they are on a field trip. They are actually on a field trip and they learn at the same time. Yeah, sure, European, I like it's a platform where you can find lots of images and information and uh, for sure there are many paintings which I can maybe show in advance. Yes, yes, since we cannot take them outside very easily, we can get the outside inside. And that comes AI, that can, here comes AI, Europeana tools, you can bring them inside you can see what you can do in class and then that can um, make them more eager to try and find them on their own what they like or with their family. Yes, of course. It's a great platform for things like that to explore some things that they cannot uh, see by themselves uh, which are expensive or something like that in real life. So it is really nice to have a platform like that where you can show students like for example uh, images of something which is uh, important uh, to the class at the moment or something like that. Yes, we did that also in uh, our school. We did like a digitalization of uh, old photos. It was like the small thing, but we did it like uh, the students uh, were tasked to talk with their grandmothers and to uh, collect uh, photos like and really digitalize them and then we were talking about what is on that photo and how that uh, like had an influence on the community they are from and so that was that was the point like to connect uh, digitalization tradition and uh, and uh, community asking students to prepare you something at home and bringing it uh, in class, it's easier. Europeana helps, of course. Pictures, audio, videos, AI tools you can give prompts and create and uh, see with your students what AI can help you do because you are not able to go outside or to go past in time. Yes, museums libraries, the, the local, uh, the, the, the town hall, uh, maybe ask the mayor to contribute in, uh, in different ways, I guess. Yeah, so I, I think maybe the students have tablets so they can take photos when we're out, for example, during an outing. Maybe we can use ChatGPT to change it, for example, into a particular art style, uh, like cubism or futurism. It's better for them like that. They remember more things when they like create something uh, and which is connected with the with the topic that we are doing. It's not important what. For example, today we were doing with my colleague a surrealistic. Uh, images of waffles and the point was like to uh, learn about uh, sur surrealism so it was it was the way how to connect cultural heritage and and surrealism mm -hmm.
Because uh, nowadays society is um, evolving, is developing, and of course we cannot uh, say, oh, we want to live in clay houses and uh, we don't need the comfort of nowadays. Of course we need the comfort of uh, nowadays, but we shouldn't forget about the simple solutions that our ancestors used. Also with uh, Europana, I uh, find that uh, I found that is uh, it is important to have access to heritage from other spaces, other cultures. It's the easiest way of remembering and of learning, I guess. And I think it's very important because it's uh, what young people nowadays um, are experiment on and uh, this is their age. Because that is our most important thing we have. I, I really like tradition and tradition is something that uh, we have to build on and this is important for students, not only students, but to everyone to be aware of uh, biggest creations in culture, art and things like that. I, that's the thing that uh, separates us from everything else that is alive. It's art, it's culture. Mm -hmm.